So what is your perfect Christmas? Very little. Oh, really? We just... My mum's my still alive. She's 96. She'll be in. Oh. Uh, my wife Sue's, her mum and dad will be in. My son has gone off to the girlfriends. For, oh. So he'll be in on Boxing Day. And, yeah, we just... But it's bizarre, you know, you get up at ten and you have a glass of sherry and... Every, you know, <laughs> somebody <laughs> comes out in the window, <laughs> doesn't it? And you, <laughs> then you think, oh, a great big breakfast, and then, oh, I think I'll have half a dozen satsumas now. <laughs> 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 so it, it's all cranky, so... <laughs> yes. Because now, but you know, there's no grandkids yet. I, I'm fuming with him. <laughs> See, he's been with this girl for quite a while, Sophie. Oh, the, oh, God, Lovely. Yeah. Good, Lovely good, Sophie. Good, good got the name. James yeah. and Sophie. <laughs> I keep on... See, I was brought up, more or less... I had my mum and dad, but my granddad, I was always with my granddad, and he sort of taught me values. Yeah. You know, it, he was a greengrocer. I remember once... He, he got six ton of potatoes yeah, from the market. Six ton. And we had a yard and a stable thing. The horse had gone. So, and I said, Granddad, why have you got all these potatoes? He said, Lenny. He said they're cheap. And never forget, your money's like your willy. It only grows if you play with it. 